Pisces, the cut. Look at that. We have the lover's card and we have the ace of wands, Pisces. There we go. Ace of Wands, Pisces, and the Lover's card. That's the cut. Okay, let's get three more shuffles. Page of Pentacles, the Ace of Wands. <laughs> that Ace of Wands, somebody has a passionate approach are going to make to you. King of Cups, somebody who's feeling a little bit stirred up in their emotions, and the Ace of Wands. Ooh, somebody wants passion. It's really sort of churning inside their belly. They have passion in their belly for you. Page of Swords, oops. <laughs> Page of Swords, somebody is watching you. Somebody's keeping an eye out for you. And the Ace of Wands again. Okay, let's look and see what the overall energy is at the bottom of the deck. The Ace of Wands. Oh my goodness, what is that? Five Ace of Wands, okay. So that is the theme for this reading. And we'll see what's gonna happen here. We are going to see what's going to happen for Pisces. There we go. Wanted to jump out. Hierophant. That is all about traditional thought, traditional beliefs, marriages, religious may factors may re, um, religious factors may influence your love life, but it all is all about the ceremony, and that is in the recent past. So for some of you Pisces, you may be deciding to get married. We'll see here. What is going on? Passion in the belly. Okay, three of wands, making plans for the future, exact, pertinent, okay, making plans for the future is the three of wands, the ships have arrived in the harbor, it's time to go figure out the details of where you're going to put all the goods, <laughs> you might be moving to a new home with the three of wands, but you're looking into the future, Okay, you are looking into the future with very definitive desires. That is your mutual energy. All right, so let's see what else we have. What else? What is the thought process of the person who Pisces is relating to? Knight of Cups, love energy, a big cup of love for you. They are wearing their heart on their sleeve. <clears throat> My voice is a little weird. <laughs> Your person loves you, Pisces. They love you. How do they view you? They view you as the Seven of Swords. What's going on? They feel as though you are keeping secrets or you're not telling them something. Seven of Swords energy means that they think that you're happy. We have this beautiful flower, but they just feel as though they would like for you to talk to them more. Seven of Swords can mean you know, hiding things, but they think you're hiding your emotions. Wheel of Fortune, they feel in their heart space. At the heart of the reading is the Wheel of Fortune. Destiny and timing is turning in your favor, and your person feels very lucky that you are their lover, that you are their beloved. They are thrilled. Jupiterian energy, this person wants to see the relationship grow. How do they view the way forward? How do they view the future as it is? coming forward for you in this relationship. How do they view that? Page of Pentacles, making plans. Uh, Page of Pentacles is small plans. This would be, well, on Saturday, let's get a U-Haul or let's go hire a moving company, you know, and let's go out for a date. But, you know, the Page of Pentacles is all about making practical plans, not getting ahead of yourself, being very down to earth being very, um, taking care of the small details of matters. Could, you could be dealing with a Virgo. The Knight of Swords, both of you in this hidden energy have things that you'd like to talk about that you're, that have urgent need for discussion. So you're both feeling as though, I love that Knight of Wands though. Look at this. This woman is floating in on a feather. She is moving quickly, but you can see that with her other hand, she's opening up the sky, the cloudy sky, and illuminating, and illuminating information. Both of you are about to talk and have a very deep talk. It'll be very sincere, very honest, very straightforward, and delightful. Who wouldn't like to fly on a feather successfully? <laughs> you feel very lighthearted and very joyful in this talk. The Empress card, Spirit is recommending that you invest 
big in this relationship. Go big or go home, Pisces. This is your person. Both of you feel that. That is the advice for both of you in this relationship. Let's see what the outcome card is, and we will clarify. Let's see, what is the outcome for the short term for our Pisces friends? The Justice card being all balanced, making decisions. This is seventh house energy. This is marital energy. Um, the seventh house is Libra. And so it looks as though short term, you may be discussing buying a house, renting a house, getting an apartment. Uh, it can be a marriage licenses, but it can be any seventh house activity, which is our relationships that have a component of legal requirement for integrity, honesty, and good behavior. So you are talking about the highest level of commitment. Let's see why the Seven of Swords is here for you. Why did your person see you as the Seven of Swords energy? Why do they see that? What is that Seven of Swords about? That's how they view you. Secretive. Oh, here we go. The world card. You're, bu you're doing big things. Oh, interesting. You are on a worldly trajectory, Pisces, for making and manifesting dreams that will come true. And so that's how your partner sees you. They see you as a person who plays everything close to the vest. They do not see this as a secret from them. They see the two of you might be discussing getting married without having a big, a big ceremony, that that might be the way forward for your journey in love. The other two cards that leapt out of the deck are the Three of Pentacles, practical plans of collaboration. So your person is on board with you. The secrecy in how they view you, it might be your idea to keep everything secret, but they are definitely on board. Two of Cups, this is a bride and groom of, uh, you know, taking their vows in the Rider weight deck. You know, really, it's a twosome. Two people deeply in love, Pisces, very deeply in love. All right, let's see what the clarifiers are for the Hierophant card. Let's see what we have for the Hierophant card. Beautiful reading, Pisces. Tell us more about the Hierophant card and what it means in the recent past. Can be a ah, five of swords. There's been a disagreement of some sort about marriage and how you view marriage. So that's why the page of Pentacles is coming up as the plans. So one of you wants marriage more than the other. The Queen of Pentacles is very down to earth energy. So what, what we're seeing here is this energy that uh, traditional marriage might be something that would be that would be something that would be too costly. So there's this philosophy, and there's a bit of an argument here. One person might want a party and the other one might not want a party, but this is definitely Queen of Pentacles energy is all about how do we do our best financially? How do we stay very um, solid? You know, how do we do things that are going to keep us financially stable? Why do we have the Three of Wands here? It looks like a secret marriage coming up. Ace of Pentacles, being practical as you plan your move forward, you're going to be practical. So Pisces, what I am seeing you, uh, you have this energy of the Seven of Wands, which is you're standing your ground. You know, you're, you're really telling your beloved how you feel in terms of what you want, your beloved person's um, feeling is a four of swords like they feel as though whatever they want may not be something that will make you happy so you are going through a period of decision making you're learning to make decisions together you know you're learning how to step from one phase of life into the next and you're doing it in a beautiful capacity there's a lot of good communication there's you know a, a very kind of open feeling between the two of you you keep other people out of 
your business. It's very solid and your person feels, oh, look at this. They feel so lucky to be in love with you. When we look at the Wheel of Fortune, at the heart of this relationship is Scorpio King energy, loving, they love you forever. They always, you know, they will always love you. And in addition to that, this is all about loving you unconditionally in a very emotional, deep way. They may not walk around all the time saying, I love you, I love you, I love you. It's not that kind of love. It's very serene, very much they're there for you. It is, you know, we've been through the fires of life and this is a very mature love. This is a person who shows you how they feel instead of talking about it. I like it. I think it's quite lovely. And we go from Sagittarius energy to Scorpio, Scorpio and Sag on the cusp of one another next to each other. Page of Pentacles, what is this about? The Tower card. Well, your person has some really big ideas about how to radically approach anything that you're planning. So their ideas will be very um, novel, very unexpected. Let's see in what way will your person's plans. They also might feel as though you don't go along with them. The Devil card, okay. So there is a disagreement about how this proceeds forward because we see your person wanting to take a very, you, we see, yeah, your person really wanting to take a very uh, quiet approach to all of this. And it just doesn't seem to be working out. The devil card says that it looks as though, let's see why, it looks as though other people, you know, maybe family, maybe friends, want to be a part of the ceremony or the, the celebration. And so I do think that your person feels as though at least there should be some people around. Yes, okay. So your person really sees that the two of you are so good alone, but they also think that there's a lot of value doing the heavy lifting that sometimes family celebrations can get really difficult, but they definitely see this as an energy that they would like to uh, be a little bit more traditional with this Hierophant card that there is a belief system that tradition does count for something and that you might regret it, the Five of Swords and Seven of Swords, if you don't really, you know, if you just go off and elope or something. But wow, this is really something. I like it. Six of Cups, you've been together for probably at least six years. Many of you are just in this process of finalizing a commitment. Beautiful energy. Six of Cups, Knight of Swords. You're very honest with each other. And that honesty has created a lightness of being in the relationship. Why does Spirit say this is the Empress energy? Oops. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay. Beautiful. Look at what we have. We have temperance. Temperance is that spirit is saying that this relationship is very worth it because with time, your relationship has shown endurance and an even keeled ability. Again, Sagittarius energy, very lucky in finding each other because you can communicate in a way that's effective, calm, cool, collected, king of wands, fiery. You can take action on your plans. You're very good together. Let's see what we have here for the justice card. Could be justice of the peace, right? Could be a justice of the peace with a little party afterwards. Let's see. King of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles. You're making plans. Ooh, nice. And the Emperor card. It looks like an executive feminine energy. Well, you know, oftentimes that's the case in a wedding. Eight of Wands. You may do this within the next eight months is what I'm seeing. Pisces, sending you love. Take care. Bye-bye.